So we're looking to solve by making a nine, right? And we already said there's no, there's no 10, really, in this problem. So we need to ask ourselves, how do we make 10? Now, if I'm looking at these two numbers and adding, what number is closest to 10? Is 5 or 9 closer to 10? I know. May Ellie's. 9. 9 is closer to 10. How many more do I need to add to 9 to make 10? Um, Henry. Uh, nine. Not 9. I already have 9. Emma. Nine. 1. Okay? So, how do I make 10? I make 10 by adding 1 to 9. Okay? And that's super smart, like that. Now, if I have 9 plus 5, how do I get a 1 to add to 9? That's my question. Where am I going to get a 1 to add to my 9? Lily. Take away the 5 and make a 4. And then take okay. I have to look at the five, right? You said it. I don't want you to use the word takeaway, though. We're going to use the word break. I have to break the five into one. And then what number, if I'm making five, goes with one? Um, goes with four to make five. It goes with four, right? So Because one and four make five. And what is this orange thing? A number bond. A number bond. So our first step today is going to be to make a number bond. You guys are being very helpful. You guys are helping me. So we're going to say step one, make a number bond using what number? What number do we have to use? Not nine. Nine's not my number bond. You're on the right track, though. Maximus. One. Using one. Okay? One has to be in your number bond. Next. What do I do? I'm looking to make... Ten. Ten. So my second step is going to be to... Make ten. Make ten. Right? That's close. I'm going to make my 10. So, step two is going to be make. Someone's making some evil noise. Am I? I'm not worried about that. Make 10. Right? So, I know that 9 and 1 is 10. 9 plus 1 is 10. Now, what do I do next? Or actually, I should say, now that I've got 10, what's my new number sentence? Liam, what's my new number sentence? I made a 10 with 9 and 1. What number's left? 4 and 5. Ah. Not 4 and 5. What number's left? 4. 4, right? And we should bring that up. Cross out the number you started with. So now you have 10. You can cross, let's make that our third step. Step three, cross out the old add in. And then step four will be add 10 to the number that, please don't repeat after me, that is left. So in this case, I have 10 plus what number is left, Liam? 4. And 10 plus 4 is? 14. 14. Okay? 
So that's how we get to our answer by making a 10. Because if I was, so by making a 10, we got 14. We made the nine into a 10 by breaking apart the five. But if I had just done this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then one, two, three, four, five, and I counted these all together, what would I have gotten? Anyone? Nine and five would have also been able. One more time. Fourteen. Very good. Okay. So basically, all we did by breaking apart the five is we took one of these counters away and moved it over here, and we made ten. So now we have 10 counters. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 here, and then 1, 2, 3, 4 here, and 10 and 4 is 14. 14. So again, you turn it into 10 plus 4 is 14. Okay? We're now going to take a look at using it like counters on the board with your 10 frames. You guys want to do that? How many people would rather use a 10 frame than do this? I figured. All right. So now, let's go do this with a 10 frame. Stand and go. Bye. Lily.